This uh, fortress is built in the early 1600s and um, protected Bhutan from Tibet. The invasion of Tibet is just over from over there, they come across through the valley. So there's a couple of, of um, wings facing that valley that can protect the, from the Tibetan invasion. But it is massive and I love that. They're looking after it, you know? They're keeping it so us tourists can come here and see it. Have a look around. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely beautiful. century. So really old and um, absolutely beautiful. There's one part on the other side that's a bit newer. This side here is 7th century and they've just kind of gone through and fixed it up but keeping it very, very traditional. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we're just back at that same Cafe, I went that yesterday. Nice place. Having a cup of tea. Cut of biscuits. Writing some notes. Just kind of relaxing for a while, you know, it's good. And when you're on the road so much and you just kind of you get worn down a bit, so it's been a nice day, you know. We walked around the fortress and, and temple and just coming back here, chill out for a while before we go have some lunch and I'm not quite sure I think we just kind of spent the rest of the day wondering pyro so I might go souvenir shopping and bits and pieces. at the Paro airport where I landed. You can see over the hill. So we came in, that's why we went like this and all that. It was incredible. But yeah, it's an awesome place. Yeah, a very beautiful spot. And then that one guy's using a electric planer. The guy next to him was using a manual planer, you know, a traditional one, but yeah, a bit of a mixture, it was quite nice. We're just walking up to another temple. I'll have to get Pima, my guy, to redo the name for me, but it means Temple on a Cliff. 
he's dead. What a cliff, isn't it? But it's nice just walking through the uh, orchards up here, apple orchards. Beautiful. Looking over the valley. Big hills. Oh, really loving Bhutan. I think I'll be coming back. Don't know when, don't know how. Maybe you guys can give me a hand, but I'm coming back. One thing that I'm learning out here, you guys know that I just recently done a permaculture design certificate, a PDC. And um, out here, they just grow everything organically. Not like in Australia where it's you know, almost like a new bit of fad kind of thing. Um, now it's got a name, but before it was just gardening. Growing food, growing vegetables. But out here, it's a way of life. It's the only way to grow. They do most of their ploughing with cattle. You would have seen that a couple of days ago. They you know, move soil by hand. I've seen people building roads by hand making bitumen by hand but um, you know, in Australia we use machinery for everything and here they don't use machinery, they don't have it it's amazing manure straight onto the, onto the garden you see a guy with a pick, you know digging the soil up they don't use chemicals, so why do we? we use chemicals I suppose to produce more these guys produce enough and um, with no chemicals and no machinery. The farms are small, they produce enough for their family and then and sell the rest and trade the rest. It's, it's, it's permaculture on a country wide scale. It's pretty awesome actually. We just got invited inside the temple by the monks. They um, they're chanting at the moment, and we got invited in. Uh, sat down with them, had some butter tea and some rice with them. Um, got blessed by them, and um, yeah, I don't know. That was just it was just out of this world. Uh, no, I really would like to have taken you guys in there and shown you, but just take my word for it, that was incredible. I've just come out, just on the top of the world here. Yeah? Absolutely beautiful. Brilliant. I was saying yesterday that the Tiger Temple it was just over the hill, just um, outside my window. Well, it is, and um, it's a bit of a clear day now. It's just rain, so it's cleared up a little bit. So, I'm going to show you. Have a look at this. Pretty amazing, eh? It's just there. Tomorrow, they say a two hour hike up. We'll have lunch up there. And um, yeah, 
this is what I've been looking forward to. I've been hanging out to see the tiger's nest. And there it is. It's just there. It's just there. Ah, Bataan. I don't know, you've just been incredible. Everything. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Are we coming back?